Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video on Dogecoin, your daily update. And there is, again, quite a lot to talk about. All right. Uh, hopefully you did not, uh, you, you, you were not hurt too much by the, by the drop we had yesterday. Um, we talked about this and, um, and in general, I do think that if you watched the video yesterday, you would have been prepared for this. Um, but obviously, I mean, a drop as we saw yesterday evening, it's, it's hard to prepare for that in general. All right. Um, but what we saw yesterday is that Dogecoin already, technically it, it was no, it, it, it was not bearish yet. Um, but you could see already yesterday that we were losing a ton of momentum right here. There was no, after we found some support right here at, um, at 17 and 16 and a half cents there was no bidding like no real traders not a lot of money was being was being brought into the market from that support uh, so that usually means that the support level is not very strong and then we also technically broke down below the 200 ema and we respected that until basically or we we, we respected that over the course of uh, over the course of the day and then we had that drop, all right. So that drop, I, I did not expect a huge crash, but obviously there was quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of bad things going on in the world, etc. So that brings us to where we are right now, all right. We found support at thirteen and a half cents, got a decent bounce from that. Technically, we are still bearish, but I do think that there are opportunities here to recover a bit. But that's what we'll talk about, all right. Now, first of all, I saw someone in the comments say something, uh, and I want to clarify that I'm not bearish on Dogecoin. All right, I'm just honest. I, I tell you honestly what I see, objectively. We just look at statistics, we just look at numbers, and then based on those numbers, I tell you what I think is most likely from a certain price area. Now, long-term, fundamentally, I think Dogecoin is great. I don't think this chart looks bearish, all right? And I think most of you will agree with me on that. And I think ultimately Dogecoin can still rally a lot, all right? And I think Dogecoin, if you, if you talk about portfolio building, um, I think Dogecoin deserves a place in your portfolio. I think it's a, I think it's a, an easy 5x from current levels, for example. So I do want to clarify that, but on the short term, I can be bearish, all right? If you look at the market structure right now, for example, I would argue that we are still bearish. We're still, we, we, we have not seen one higher high uh, in the last, well, let's say, uh, well, since the, since, since the beginning of April. We're also quite bearish right here. We're making lower lows. The market right now is, is quite uh, is quite unstable. So why would I be bullish on Dogecoin then? There's no reason. I mean, long term I'm bullish. Short term it, it doesn't look great yet, um, and and that's still the case. I mean, if you look at Dogecoin, there's definitely potential here, right? So so there is a chance, especially if Bitcoin gets some sort of a bullish breakout or 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 it reclaims some sort of a previous support level it gave up then there's a huge chance for Dogecoin to recover, all right? The, the main level we would need to break above is right here above 16 and a half cents. And I do think that it's realistic to assume that we can break above that level so that we break above 16 and a half cents, get the bullish break retest and rally back up to 18 and a half cents. And then all of a sudden Dogecoin on the short term is bullish. And if you zoom out, we're, we're kind of consolidating. Um, so that is possible, but I have to tell you that if you look at the market structure right now, which is that we have gained some momentum, but it's not a lot. We have had a massive bearish breakout yesterday. So I have to say that I think it's most likely that, you know, we, we have a solid support. I, I don't think we will break through this support, um, but I also don't see enough reason for us to get that bullish breakout. So I think we'll get up there, but I also think we'll find resistance there drop back down to 15 and, and 14 and a half cents and kind of consolidate right here. That's what I think is most likely until we get a big, big move from Bitcoin. And we're waiting for that. And that's simply what you need to know. And that's simply what's most likely uh, for Dogecoin right now. Now, like I said, if Bitcoin turns bullish here, we can get that bullish breakout and we can turn bullish short term. It's just that at this point of time, Bitcoin is not bullish yet. And there's no strong momentum coming in for Dogecoin. So keep your eyes on that. If those change for the better, we can break out. For now, this is most likely. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the, in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.